ladies and gentlemen, Blake Matthews is letting us know we now have Invest 93L designated by the National Hurricane Center. All this means that it's an area the NHC is investigating closely, and it hints the name Invest. This remains a non-classified disturbance at this time. Worst case scenario, it becomes a Category 2 or higher hurricane that heads into the Gulf by the 5th of June. Best case scenario, the atmospheric defensive team keeps all the rainfall on the right side frozen of the storm, and so it makes landfall on Texas as nothing more than a light tropical storm. The one thing I am pretty sure of is it's going to bring some heavy, heavy rain to Gulf states over the next week. Yeah, I've been talking about this storm for about eight days. And the main thing that I noted on this storm is that it is massive. I mean, it's super massive. And it's going to continue to be super massive. And so it is going to get a whole lot of rain, especially to Central America. And I'm pretty sure it's going to bring rain to the Gulf states. Hey, I almost forgot. I am doing a fundraiser. I do a fundraiser every single month to keep my channel up and running so I can stay doing this 24-7 for you guys. I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron. And this is for the June hurricane season 2020. I only got $1,336 left to go, with just a little over three days left in the fundraiser. So if you'd like to contribute, I would definitely appreciate it. The official start of 2020 Atlantic hurricane season is tomorrow. Good chance by the second week of June, we'll already have three named storms. It's going to be an active one. EPS guidance highlighting Gulf of Mexico, tropical cyclogenesis, the timing uncertainty of landfall, anywhere from Texas to Florida sometime between June 6th and 8th. Now, there are some factors that could have it headed towards the coast as soon as the 4th. It depends on how much time the remnant sits in the CAG. And if we're going by Alex Lubbers, it's now 00Z June 1st, according to UTC thus signaling the start of the official 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Congratulations, y'all. With a La Nina cold neutral developing, this season could be very active. Everyone has said that. I'll be tracking each and every system that develops. And so, crystal ball. Look at your crystal ball and tell me what you see. And then I got a feeling Dolly could be a big one and it might be a, a Fujiwara. All right, there's a joke in there somewhere. Big Fujiwara. Now, whether well, Twitter's a giant team that does excellent work. Like Philip Pappin, who's always yapping really cool stuff about the weather. As promised, I wanted to illustrate the binary interaction between the remnant of the Amanda Vortmax and the larger Central American Yair, the CAG. The 12Z GFS tracked the Vortmax making a near full cyclonic loop around the CAG, going from the East Pacific to the Bay of Campeche and back again. And so, what is going to happen definitely with the storm, nobody knows. But, this is an excellent illustration. So, the CAG is like Central American gyre circulation, where it just kind of spins around here. And then sometimes, hurricanes, tropical storms, depressions, can eject from the CAG. And so, we have the remnant of Amanda going around and around the CAG, taking it over the mountainous terrain which is unleashing a lot of life-threatening, very dangerous rain for Central America. At some point, it's going to eject what we all have as crystal ball, which we're now calling Invest 90-something. And so there is still a chance it will eject it under here, and it won't hit the United States. So if you want to pray for an optimal option for America, that would be us, although it's going to bring heavy rain to these guys no matter what. But... It, you know, it could eject after one rotation, which would bring it in to us about the fourth of the month. And then it could take a full turn, which would be about the eighth or ninth of the month. And so this is definitely an interesting situation. And I highly recommend if you are in the Gulf or just love fascinating hurricane type weather, then this is one story to stay on top of. As your planetary defense commander, I will be absolutely obsessed with this thing, as I have been. <clears throat> so we watch it just kind of circulate around. 
So fascinating, dude. Can't wait till Cranky gets back. He took a, co- he took a break. If this isn't ominous for you, I don't know what to tell you. Because look, is that thing, wherever this thing shoots out, the orange is super duper 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 heavy rain, and the red is just really, really heavy rain. And right now, the 7J projection would bring massive, pretty major flooding to Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, and it'll probably start to extend into Georgia. So as I've been saying for eight days, no matter what, this thing is going to bring massive rainfall to the Gulf. And here is the picture of example, man. As this cone extends out, we're going to see more and more places get all super floody. And remember, the pink is super, super heavy rain. And so where you can see the gyration happening, the spinning around Central America, where will it eject? Nobody knows yet. The models are taking guesses. I'm taking guesses. You're probably at home taking guesses. Another thing I want to point out. So I took two days off, asterisk. I was monitoring all the situation that was going on in the United States. But I wasn't looking at weather. Anyways, what's to talk about? Oh, yeah. So as we didn't think there was going to be rain in South Texas this morning, but it, what there was, so thanks to uh, Thrasher for bringing in my guitar and my smokes, because um, I'd left him on the porch. Anyway, the point was that so today's, and even Matt Lanza said, hey, nobody predicted rain for Houston today, and we got a whole bunch of rain. So you can already see that this system is pouring heavy rain into the Gulf. And so Texas, we're going to be continuing to get a whole lot of rain out of this. You know, the the projection we just looked at didn't have a whole lot of rain in Texas, but you can already see the CAG is already spitting and spilling rain into Texas that's not being accounted for, and that this whole system is super floody. And so watch rain projections continue to go up for the whole Gulf, man. You know, that's, I mean, that's the most rain I've seen in the Gulf in one time as I can ever remember. So yeah, it's a full red alert for flooding in the first two weeks of June for pretty much the entire Gulf of Mexico in the coastal areas. And definitely including, I mean, this is going to be deadly and dangerous to all the people in Central America, Guatemala, and in parts of Mexico. My initial thought was that it would get pulled into Florida and man up in the center. But what I'm saying now is it's 2020. So I want to put a lot of faith in the atmospheric defense team so that it won't become uh, anything more than a cat one. It won't be a major uh, disaster. Uh, But if we get hit by a hurricane in the first week of June, that would be a pretty big sign that this hurricane season is going to be Wild Wild West, man. Super duper Bobby Storm talking about Earth Null 850. She changed the setting. You can do that. Most of what's left of Amanda and moisture caught in CAG is in the Atlantic side now. And so as to point out, all that pink, a lot of it has already gotten into the Gulf, and the CAG is supposed to just, it's going to be swirling and swishing and pushing a lot of moisture into the Gulf, man. Bobby must have heard me talking about her on the astral plane because she just tweeted me and showing me another picture of Invest 93. And so you can see that, like I've talked about, a lot that part of it has been trapped on the Atlantic side. And if somehow this gets ejected fast, that we could see this in the Gulf as quick as the fourth. I mentioned that a couple times in the last week. But so we will keep an eye on it. it looks almost looks like a war headdress. See, I'm obsessing about this storm. And we're looking out for some heavy rain moisture. All right, so I'll keep bringing you guys updates. And um, uh, I love you. And if you'd like to contribute to keep the news up and running, I would super appreciate it. Like I said, snail mail, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. Only $1,336 left to go with a little over three days. I got to say thank you to everyone in the Asteroid Fight Club. Y'all are amazing. And special thanks to Paula, Trisha, Matthew, Mary, Rachel, Tawny, Jenny, Mitch, David, Shermanator, Freddie, 
Bazidis, Jose, Super Jess, and Ciceri. Y'all are amazing. I appreciate it. I couldn't do this without y'all. Y'all are fantastic. Stay cool, and I'll be talking to y'all in the near future. Please, let's prepare for a wild hurricane season, but pray that no one, we don't have any major hurricane landfalls. Kind of like redo of 2019. And Selena Gomez, if you're out there, we could probably probably use you for the it gets bad. You know, just like last season. You helped out a lot. All right. So did the All-Star Asteroid Fight Club, Asteroid Fight Club, and everybody else. Prayer Warriors. Okay, stay cool. Peace out.